It's, 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 in my, it's painful. So I was like, I got a mile and a half to my house. It's like, this isn't as bad as the last time when I was at the golf course and I was 45 minutes away from my house. And um, so I get to this, I get to the main street right there by um, by 99. If you guys know where downtown Torrington, 99 Co Park. Oh shit. So I'm, I'm sitting there at the light about 8, 8.45, this old man's in front of me doing like 15 miles an hour, not really knowing where the hell he's at, doesn't know if he's coming or going or he's pulling over, it didn't matter at this point, uh, my, my stomach was so bad, I didn't know what to do. And I'm gripping the steering wheel as hard as I could. And I'm like, I'm not gonna. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm not gonna make it. It's my brand new car too. I've only had it for like a month, not even. I'm like, is this really gonna happen? Am I gonna shit in my pants right here in my car on Main Street in Torrington? So I had that rolling in my head. <laughs> so the guy finally turns and you know I, I finally was booking it down hoping I could make it and I you know how you get to your street you just you, you get that intense feeling I don't know what it is about your house but <laughs> when, when you get close to your house they, whether you gotta pee or shit it's just <laughs> intense it's brutal <laughs> so I get to my driveway now I'm sitting in my driveway now this is when it's all sinking in. I gotta get 14 more feet from here to the bathroom. And I got two options. I could go to the stairs in the front, or I could take the long way to the slider that goes into the kitchen that leads faster to the bathroom instead of getting it all over my mom's carpet. <laughs> So, I finally get out of the car, and uh, I go to the front and realize that uh, it was locked, because uh, my parents leave for the weekend, they go up to camp, and they lock the door without telling me. So, now I'm like waddling like this, trying not to shit myself and I get down to the stairs and I'm just trying to lift and I, it's just painful you guys can pretty much tell what's going on at this moment so I get to the sliding door and I'm like this is it I made it I'm home free and I open up the slider door I take two steps in and that was it you guys remember Mount St. Helen when it erupted? Yeah, that was the equivalent of that. Just downwards instead of up and all over the place. And, uh, and I was, and I, so at that moment I was like, I gotta get to the bathroom. And I'm just like running at this point. And uh, I'm leaving little like drops of shit on the floor. Like Hansel and Gretel when they leave the breadcrumbs to get back home. That's the same, same thing. And, uh, so I get to the bathroom and, you know, I, I'm in my home now. So, I mean, it's different than being in a porta potty in the middle of nowhere. Um, so I clean myself up, clean the kitchen, you know, the best I could. And then five minutes later, my mom decides that she wanted to stop by and check on the house. <laughs> Boy, what a story. I had to try and tell her why it smells like shit in the house. And um, she didn't even find out. Because I had smoked pot in the bathroom. <laughs> that's the only thing I could think of that would get rid of the smell of my shit. So that was a nice contact high she walked into when she came home that day. I didn't think she wanted to get high that day or any day for that matter.
<laughs> but I guess the moral of my story is, you know, I, the last time I said it was shit happens, but um, you don't make memories, memories make you. That's all I got. Thank you.